No girl meets her Prince Charming and thinks to herself, in six months he will isolate me from my friends and family and force me to leave college. In a year, he will break my bones, blacken my eye, and send me to the hospital. In three years, he will kill me. If that were the case, there would be no victims of domestic violence, but we do not have a crystal ball to be able to predict the future. Like many of you, I did not grow up with violence in my home. My brothers and sisters were raised by loving parents with memories of family nights, playing games, and learning to be service to others in need. On September 1st, 2001, that all changed with the death of my closest friend and sister, Lisa. Her ex-husband beat her so viciously that she died. My brother turned to drugs, my big sister turned to hate and anger, and me, well, I became rebellious and got into trouble with the juvenile authorities. My family was unaware of the signs of abuse, and when they became visible to us, it was too late. Lisa's death blindsided all of us. You see, you never expect violence from one that is supposed to love you. You are never prepared for the devastating effects that it has on your family. Yet this happens to one in three women. That means one in three families will lose a mother, a sister, a daughter, a best friend. Our organization, Fix the Hurt, started in Lisa's memory to be that crystal ball, to share and explain warning signs of abuse with other families to prevent another death. We provide work through innovative theater arts to educate about domestic and teen dating violence. Our goal is to prevent the broken bones before they happen. This Arizona Gives Day, join us to set the stage for change by making a donation to Fix the Hurt, help spread the word and save lives.